How to use PageFly on Shopify 2022 tutorial for beginners. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you are all doing great. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add PageFly on your Shopify in the easiest steps and I'm going to take you through, I'm going to guide you through it and uh, hopefully by the end of this, you will have your very own page on Shopify using PageFly. So let's get right into it. First of all, obviously you're going to be need to log in on your Shopify page. When you do that, you need to make sure that your Shopify is fully set it up and fully accessible. So once you do that, you're going to go on apps and you're going to write page fly. Now, once you write that, it's going to take you to the Shopify app store and it's going to ask you to add PageFly. Once you add it, then you're going to install it and then it's going to automatically bring you to this interface. This is the main page for PageFly. Now, once you're over here, what you're going to do is you're going to go to pages then you're going to go to regular pages. I went to regular pages because I just want to give you a main outlook of how things are, but you can also make home pages, product pages, collection pages, blog posts, password pages, whatever you like. So when you go to regular pages over here, they're going to say create a blank page or create from a template. Now you could create a blank page. You could have a blank canvas and from there you can go on ahead and add whatever you'd like to your imagination. But for now, I'm going to show you how to work around with a template because Shopify gives you numerous amount of templates and they are amazing. They have great templates with great designs and great arts and you can use it to your likings. So for example, I like this one. So I'm just going to go to preview to check how it really looks. And uh, I like the way it gives the look. I'm going to go and select this template. And once it loads up, here we go. So this is basically our canvas. On this canvas, what we need to do is we're going to set whatever we'd like to our choice. So before getting into the technicality, I'm going to show you some main basic uh, things that you need to know before getting into this. So if we go over here, it's device view mode. If you click on that, these are different views on different devices. For example, on laptop, it's going to look like this to the viewers, but on a tablet or a mobile phone, it's going to give an outlook like this. So you just need to keep this in mind when making your page. So if we go back to all devices and in the editor settings, you can see you can enable theme styling. For example, if you want to style the theme to your pleasing, you can view the page structure and you can enable autosave. You can keep any of these on. I'm just uh, going to keep them off right now because I don't need them. So now how you can add things in your page for that, you're going to go on this plus sign that says add element. You're going to click on that and look at that. It gives you different items to add in your Shopify page. So what we're going to need to do is in containers, you can see that there are different layouts, tabs, accordion, slideshow and content list. What containers does is that it provides us a space in which we can put in our content and provide uh, different types of information. So for example, if I go with this layout, I'm just going to drag it out here and look at that. I pasted it here. I can move its position to as much as I please. I can bring it up here, but uh, for now I'm going to bring it down here. And uh, now what we can do is we can mess around with it. You can add new columns if you'd like, or you can go to add element again and you can add newer elements in this. So if we go on add element and we go on tabs, let's go on this tab and drop it onto the column. Now look at that. It's given us tabs up here. We can name these tabs. For example, if I click on tab one, we can go right down here and we can click on that. And there we go. It's enter text here. Uh, for example, over here, you can add Nike and then in tab two. So for the text, you're going to just click on the tab that you want to add the text on. And then in the header text, you're going to write whatever text you want. So you're going to click write Nike in tab one and tab two. I'm going to go and write Adidas in tab three. I'm going to go ahead and write any brand Puma. These are just examples from here. You can uh, change the setting as well. For example, if you want the text to be bold, elicitor it, and if you want it underlined, whatever you like. So this is basically the gist of how you can make uh, different types of statements and headers. Now, if I take you into more detail, you can even make slideshows and what happens in a slideshow 
you're gonna add a slide for example right here now look at that now this is a slideshow added in which you can put in any type of texts or information or pictures that you want to be in a slideshow and look at that there's gonna be a slideshow on your page and if you go on more elements we can see that there are the basic things like heading paragraphs heading is for if you want to add a heading over a product line and then in the paragraph you can give uh, different types of information and content uh, descriptions in that paragraph a, a button this is a good feature for the page why because look at this i'm going to drag it here and look at that in the button what happens is this button can redirect the user anywhere. For example, if you want to take them to a link, if you want to show them some photo, if you want some text to pop up, you can use any of those for a button. So we can change the button text by click and then we can change the size of the text. And over here in the pop-up content, we can choose if we want to show them a YouTube video, an HTML video, Vimeo video, storage content, uh, images and if it's a YouTube video over here we can just add a link and that link will be shown over here so that's how simple it is I'm gonna show you some more elements of course there's the list you can add different lists bullet lists of information and if you want to add any HTML code in which uh, you want to make the display of your page look better you can add that as well in media you can add different images, different icons. You can add a, a YouTube video in your slide if you want to. This is obviously the button. If you click it, you can see the video. But in this, you can add a whole video into the slide. And if you go in the social handle, you can see Instagram, Facebook like, Facebook page, Twitter. Uh, what happens with this is you can add uh, any Facebook or Instagram post or link. And this is good for the people who want to basically do marketing for their social handle for their products. So yeah, that's basically the gist of the main basics. One more thing, if you go on styling, in styling you can change the fonts to whatever you'd like. You can change the background color, the border styles, the overall custom font colors. And uh, if you go and add Shopify elements, in this you can add different types of product list and product details that you have on your Shopify. And there's a lot of options over here. And add third party elements from here. You add different third parties like any other third party icons, items, extra third party applications. You can add these, but I'm pretty sure these are paid. So yeah, that's the gist of it. And uh, when you want to publish it, you're just going to go and click on save. You're going to give it a name. I'm just going to name it Nike. I'm going to save the page. And once it's saved, we're just going to publish it. And there we go. It even gives us the URL of the page. So we're going to publish it. There we go. Published. And now what you're going to do is if you want to check how the page looks, you can go on preview. But now that I've published the page, I'm going to show you from my Shopify directly. So you're going to go on online store on your Shopify. You're going to go to pages. And once you go on pages, look at that. There's your Nike store. You're going to click on that. And we're going to go on view page. And look at that. Here are the Adidas, Puma, Nike boxes we added. Here's the slideshow we added. And look at that. It looks amazing. So these are the things you can do with PageFly. And uh, I hope this was an easy tutorial for you. I hope what you got what you came here for. Uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.